Hey there, Blue Mages. Liam here. Welcome back to Blue Academy. Uh, the most common question I've gotten this week, as one might expect, is what's my gear? I need to know my gear. How do you expect me to play the game if I'm not using the best gear? Uh, things like that. Um, so I'm going to talk about that pretty briefly. The disclaimer is that it's still sort of up in the air. We have to actually like simulate some of these things. And, um, you know, it, it's going to be kind of the same advice as before, which is wear whatever the hell you want in Blue Mage content. And it doesn't really matter. Um, so one thing that's kind of interesting this time around is that we do have some pieces that have both crit and spell speed, which is very, very rare. You don't see that a lot. And we have a few pieces that are like that. So it actually enables us to do crit and spell speed as a viable option. So that's actually what I'm going to be using myself. And that's sort of what I'm going to recommend as the default. Um, the moon food opener that we're looking at is very, very tight to fit in without any sort of spell speed. So I would recommend some spell speed. That being said, one variant of the opener can be done with no spell speed um, and just all crit. So feel free to do that if you want. As was the case before, crit has the slightly higher top end potential damage, whereas spell speed will usually be your more consistent and more comfortable to play on. So that's what I'm going to be playing. Anyway, let's just hop in and look at the sets. So first, big thanks to Z Astra on Blue Academy. Um, while I was doing Eden Raids all week, he threw together these sets as I was relaying information to him and coming up with Moonflute stuff. So uh, big appreciation there because I did not have time to do it myself and someone stepped up. So I really, I really do appreciate that. Um, but we've got, this is our crit spell speed tentative sets. This is sort of the, the default recommendation that I would make. You can see we have a 2.2 GCD and we're still able to get quite a bit of crit. As you would expect, it's basically just made of Eden more and crypt lurkers and phantasmal stuff. Um, it's got some interesting melds, just crit spell speed and then determination wherever it doesn't fit. And we're using this flavor of caviar because it's got spell speed and crit. Um, all the links for these are going to be in the description, by the way. So don't feel like you have to pause and like look at this and try to squint and see what we're doing here. The next one is spell speed determination. This one is going for maximum spell speed. So this is, you know, if you're mostly playing tank or healer. I play all three rules a lot. I'm still going to be using the crit spell speed, but spell speed determination is always a good option too if you're playing all three. This one's slightly better for tanks and healers just because it is slightly faster. All of our stuff is on the GCD. Um, it's going to use caviar sandwich instead of the other one because this just has more spell speed um, and determination causes heals to scale so it's a little bit better for healers there as well next up we've got crit determination with 2.45 gcd uh, this is slightly faster than you know 2.5 so it can make stuff a little bit more comfortable uh, while still maximizing crit um, this one i think might have actually from the initial very basic math that I did. This one actually, I think, was slightly higher than crit spell speed, while the 2.5 was very slightly lower. I'll have to double check. I can't really make that claim for sure, but whenever I do know for sure, I will let everyone know. But you can see it's going to be a lot of the sort of same items. It's just, you know, we're melding just straight up crit. There's a couple of spell speed melds here to make sure that things actually do uh, get down to 2.45 for a little bit of comfort. But again, it's just Eden Morn, Phantasmal, and Crypt Lurkers. The crit determination is the same except we use Eden Morn earrings instead of the phantasmal so we're just dropping all spell speed entirely and you can see those two melds the two spell speed melds have changed there's also crit direct hit um you know this is the the stat that everyone uses on every other job and this used to be what we recommended at like level 60 or something before we actually had a lot of uh good uh information in theory crafting um, this is probably going to be fine too. If you like seeing really, really big numbers, this is going to be your, your thing. Uh, it might not do the most damage, but it will have the biggest numbers. I'm getting a ton of messages. I got to close that. Um, okay. We got spell speed direct hit. This is just covering all the bases at this point. Uh, direct hit isn't terrible. Uh, it's pretty good for, for dot damage as it turns out, but um, we already get a ton of direct hit and it only scales linearly. So I wouldn't really recommend this one, but it's just there as an option if you like it. Oh my goodness, why? I'm getting so many notifications. There we go. Now it's probably closed. Uh, we've also got this. If you really, really like spell speed, if you're a major spell speed enthusiast, you can actually grab this ring, the Amatron Ring of Casting, and then meld some spell speed onto it um, to get to the fastest GCD tier that we have, which is 2.15. Uh, this is, I guess, if you just really, really want spell speed or if like you're a tank and your damage doesn't really matter too much and the little loss in vitality on a tank doesn't actually matter too much either. Um, 
because of Mighty Guard, Devour, you're going to be getting healed anyway, so this is kind of fine. So we also have Synced sets. These are things that will sync down for max stats for uh, any of the lower level content. Um, you do want to make sure that you're using a cane uh, that's appropriate for the, the content. So for level 70, you'd use Predatrice. For 60, you'd use Incendiario. Uh, for 50, it doesn't matter because we don't have materia at 50. But you can see these are not too bad to get. Um, a lot of them is just it's just items that we were using at max level anyway. But otherwise, they're pretty easy to get. So we've got Augmented Exarch of, Cat of Casting. That'll cap crit and spell speed. Uh, we've got our Crypt Lurkers, Phantasmal, 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 Eden Morn. We do have an Amateur in here, so it's nice. You can just sort of buy or craft this. Then Phantasmal and Eden Morn again. If we look at the spell speed determination one, it's a little bit spicier. Uh, you can get all the way down to 2.13 GCD when you're synced, which is cool. Uh, but this is this one's a little bit of a troll. Uh, Z likes to do a little bit of mild trolling here. But the Augmented Laws Order Helm of Casting gives you spell speed and determination. But also just the regular Laws Order Helm of Casting does too. So uh, you can grab that. But then the rest is, again, it's most of our level 80 gear that we were using anyway. But then also we have Blades Gloves and Exarchic Shoes of Casting, and then these two crafted rings. Cool. So that's pretty much it. Um, if you're just looking for a quick, what do I use? I would say I just use this crit spell speed. It's probably going to be uh, very slightly behind the potential of the 2.45 crit debt, but it'll be more consistent and it'll feel a lot better to play. And it's a lot better if you play more than just DPS. So that's it. Uh, as we figure out more information, as we sim things, as we get sort of hard numbers on this stuff, I'll update things, but I don't expect it to change dramatically from these values. Okay, well, that is it. We're going to call it there for right now. I'm going to try to get some other stuff together, such as Moonflute Opener video, so keep an eye out for that. As always, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more Blue Mage content, and have a good weekend, and enjoy the patch.